Chapter Five: Reflection. Part Three: Lenses. The wire glass forms two different images. One is direct and virtual; the another inverted and real. The two different parts of the wire glass perform like concave lens and convex lens, respectively. Today, you are going to do experiment using convex lens. And concave lens, and to investigate the images formed by them, you will follow the worksheet to investigate the images formed by different lenses at different distances. The image can be erect and virtual, and it can also be inverted and real. Some images are magnified, some are diminished. Lenses are classified as convergent lens and divergent lens. Convex lens is a kind of convergent lens which converges light. When parallel light rays strike the lens symmetrically, they will be converged to one single point called principal focus. The separation between the lens and the principal focus is called focal length. Similarly, a concave lens diverges light. It is a kind of diverging lens. Parallel light rays strike the lens, and then they will be diverged from the principal focus. The emergent ray will travels along that direction. When you produce a bad work, you can find the focus. And again, the distance between the principal focus and the lens. Is called focal length. It is not too difficult to understand how lenses reflect light and how they converge light into the single point for converging lens, and how they diverge light from a single point for diverging lens. Let's take a look of this corner where there is a prism. For a prism. When light travels in that direction, passing through the prism, the light would be refracted towards its base. Similarly, for the diverging lens on the right-hand side, there is also a prism. And when light ray travels parallel to the principal axis, it would be refracted also towards its base again. You will see in the experiment today. Therefore, different distances, converging lens or convex lens, will form images of very different nature. For example, for the lens on the left-hand side, it forms an image bigger than the object, so it is a magnified image, and we can easily see that the image is erect. And since it is erect, we know it is virtual. And for the image on the right, you can see it is inverted, it is diminished, and as it is inverted, we know that it is real for sure. And lastly, for concave lens, it can only form erect, virtual, and diminished image, as shown here.